Today's uh, Q&A Wednesday, we're going to turn into a vlog rather than a vlog, and happens to fall on day six of our 12 Days of Gracious Living. And today's topic, the question in topic, is around holiday gift registries. It's kind of an emerging trend. Are they appropriate? Should we be using them? So, as always, I have a few Gracious Living thoughts and tips for you. The first thought is, if you are choosing to do a gift registry, I completely understand why people register for gifts. Uh, be mindful in what and how much you register for. Just because you want it doesn't necessarily mean that it's appropriate for you to ask for it. Um, register for a range, a price range. Um, give a few of the same items so people can actually feel like they are choosing something for you. That's the beauty of this whole, uh, the whole gift giving process is that somebody feels like they know you well enough that they're selecting something for you. So uh, gift registries can take away a little bit of that, of the shopping pleasure of the gift giver. And so making sure that we provide a lot of options for the person to feel like they're actually still selecting something just for you. Secondly, be mindful in how you communicate that you've registered. One should never suggest or tell people that they've registered, and this goes for brides and new moms and dads. Uh, a registry, the communicating of the registry should come when someone asks you. So if you have uh, friends and family from around the country that uh, happen to call you and ask you what you want or ask you to register for things, by all means, make that information known. That's simply helpful for them. But do not tell somebody that you've registered or ask them for a gift. Um, unfortunately, although you think you may be helping them and helping yourself getting out of some of those unwanted gifts, what you may be perceived as is rather greedy or insincere. Last but not least, although the gift giving or the registry process, the holiday registry process can be um, convenient, sometimes what it does is it may limit your friends and family and what they actually think or desire to give you. So hypothetically speaking, here's an example. Let's say my four-year-old Maggie had a gift registry. She doesn't and she won't. But if she had a gift registry, what would be on her registry would be the entire American Girl catalog and every tchotchke on uh, the way to checking out at Target. However, what Maggie would not have on a registry, which is something that she is getting this year, is a bling tape dispenser. That's right, for my tape-obsessed, glitter, sparkly, pink, shiny thing loving daughter. So this is an example, even though this bling tape dispenser may not be your thing. Your friends and family may have something in mind for you, something that they know about you, they know that they want to give you. And giving a registry or providing information that they haven't necessarily asked for could limit someone giving you something that you will actually love because that's the beauty of the gift giving process. The actual heart of the gift giving process is that people know us. They, they know our likes and their dislikes and they think enough of us to spend their time and their resources to give us a gift. So uh, wishing you all the best in this giving and receiving a time of the year. Happy holidays.